Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Today I'm going to look at a chassis from Shembro. It's called the RM519 and it's basically a 24 bay hot swap chassis for three and a half or two and a half inch drives. At the same time I'm also going to look at a server build that we're currently doing in this chassis. We have a quad processor uh, AMD motherboard. Each processor's got 12 cores so we've got 48 cores in this little beast. Also 96 gig of RAM and SSD drives. So, taking a look at the chassis first, we've got these 24 hot swap trays at the front. Now these trays can be used for three and a half inch drives. Or, as fitted here, we do an adapter, which allows for the fitting of uh, two and a half inch or SSD drives. This particular unit starting off with 14 500 gig SSD drives and they've had a couple of LSI HBA cards fitted so you've got 2 times 16 port um, 16 port being the maximum available for a HBA at present so it gives more scope for further SSDs if they want to fit more in the future. Now fitted internally into this system is a Tyan motherboard model S8812. Now this is a mother of a motherboard. It's something like 16.3 inches by 13 and there's not that many chassis that will actually fit this type of motherboard, the Shembro 519 being one of them, and its larger brother, the uh, I think it's the 915, which is a 48 bay system. The, the chassis itself is a 5U. Um, you can actually get 24 bays in 4Us, but they've allowed for a slim CD ROM and a couple of spaces for three and a half inch drives internally for an OS. So the extra U just gives you a little bit more space. The Shembro comes with these hot swap double fan units. Now these blow out masses of air. It's very noisy. But in all honesty, forget the noise, just make sure it's got the cooling. Especially if you're running four AMD 2.5 gig multi-core processors. Now, nothing goes to plan. <laughs> um, the tie-in motherboard doesn't actually fit. It does physically, but when you come to line it all up, and nothing um, lines up. So what you have to do? There's a motherboard plate. Um, which can be removed and then you have to drill new holes um, to allow it to be moved slightly to the left and then lock it back down in place and then um, everything fits well. Not quite sure why it doesn't fit, there seems to be an issue with these larger boards and different manufacturers putting the um, well, just different sizes from different manufacturers. You'd think they'd get their act together and make them all the same, but there you go. Uh, the unit itself has got a couple of front USBs. These hard drive activity lights are here. But you've also got power and activity lights on the caddies themselves. Now, obviously this is a big case. 
it would have to be to take the board. I think it comes in at around about 700mm deep, so you need at least an 800mm cabinet. And some very strong rack mount rails, which it does come with. There is a plate that goes across here, which is not quite fitted yet, which has got some clamps to hold down your PCI cards or PCI Express cards. Now I'll start it up just so you can get an indication of the um, noise levels. so you probably just about hear me, you'll get the idea. It is noisy, but it needs to be to keep everything cool. Obviously if it's in a hosting house, it's better. If it's in a hosting house, you're not really going to care about it anyway. And I can't really see one of these plonked in your lounge, in all honesty. So as said, we've got the four processors fitted. Uh, the motherboard um, will take masses of RAM. These are 8 gig sticks, so we've got 24 gig in each uh, bank. But we could put an extra 24 gig. So it gets it close to, well, it's 90, 680, close to 200 gig in total you could put in this motherboard, which is just masses of memory. So, there you go. As many of you know, we import chassis and sell them on our website. We do server builds, anything from just your basic £300 server up to things like this, which are, in fairness, in excess of 20k. So that's it. Shembro RM519, fitted with a Tyan S8812 and some SSD drives. Thanks for listening.